What's up, everyone, and welcome to the girls 2025 All Long Island virtual draft presented by Heatherwood Communities. I'm your host, Ellis Joshua, this evening. And for tonight's draft, just so that everyone knows how this goes, so we have designated captains for the two teams that have been selected by position. So each captain is going to select their team based on their respective position. And so it's going to start with the starting lineups. So you'll have your starting attack, midfield, defense, as well as your goalies. So what we're going to do is we're going to open things up by starting off with the, with the starting attack for the girls' 2025 teams. So we're going to introduce our two captains for the 2025 girls all Long Island games. And so we're going to start with the gold team and representing their captain at attack is going to be Aubrey Eisfeld. Aubrey Eisfeld out of Bayport. Aubrey, how are we doing here this evening? What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. So we got Aubrey Eisfeld here as a captain for the gold team. And um, she's going to be going up against someone that she is pretty familiar with. Someone that she knows very well. Someone yep. that she played with and against. And so why don't we welcome in our captain of the black team for the All Long Island Games. And that would be one Alexa Spelina at attack. Alexa, how are we doing here this evening? Oh, Alexa, I think uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. what's going on? Nothing much. Nice. This, this should be a good night. Re really excited to get this going and uh, kind of see what the decision process looks like for the two of you guys selecting your team. So just so everyone knows how this is going to work is we're going to do a coin toss to start things off. And the winner of the coin toss, they will get to decide whether they want to select first overall or they can let the opposition select first and they will then make two consecutive picks after that. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll have a coin toss to, um, to make that decision. And so why don't we let, since we had, since we had Aubrey join in first, why don't we let Alexa then decide what the coin toss will be, whether it will be heads or tails. So Alexa, you're going to make the selection and then I'll just do it on my phone here and ask Siri to, uh, to flip a coin. So you're on with heads or tails. All right. I'm going to go with tails. Definitely tails. All right. Hey, Siri. Coin. Mm -hmm. It's tails this time. It is tails. So Alexa, you you win the coin toss. So this means you get to decide whether you want to pick first or you can defer and then make consecutive picks after Aubrey. So what, what will be your decision? I'm going to do the two consecutive picks after Aubrey. <laughs> okay. All right. So Alexa has decided to defer. So that means Aubrey, you get first pick of the attackers okay. that you have to choose from. So okay. without further ado, who is going to be your first overall selection? Um, give me one second. Okay. Um, so we got Aubrey. She's gonna making making her pick out of out of the attackers that she has to choose from. So Alexa, with def by deferring, Aubrey will be picking first, followed by Spelina making consecutive picks. But uh, um, okay, I have my first pick. All right. So, so my who, first pick for overall for an attacker is gonna be Kyle Finnell. All right. So Aubrey Eisfeld has opted to go with Kyle Fennell as her first overall pick. Someone that she, of course, knows very well, play, playing with her for YJ Spelina. Kyle Fennell out of GC, just a dominant lefty attacker going yeah. to Northwestern. And definitely, definitely not, not a bad pick for sure. <laughs> definitely not argue with that. But yeah. uh, Aubrey Rose kind of kind of kind of your thought process there was that something that you thought was like kind of kind of an e easy decision um I just thought she's really such a great player such a great teammate since I've been playing with her for a really long time obviously on Yellow Jackets um she's just a really good player overall really good attacker and I just love her like being um on my team nice nice so we got Kyle Fennell off the board and so now it is Alexa your turn to make consecutive picks so what we're going to have you do is you're going to make your first pick first, and then we'll talk a little bit about that player, and then we'll have you make your second consecutive pick after that. So who is going to be pick number one for your team at attack? 
I'm going to go with um, Isabella Monteleone. Okay. All right. So we got Bella Monteleone out of Harbor Fields going to Stony Brook. So Monteleone, of course, one of the top 2025s on the island as well. Um, just super speedy. Um, I think she's really just a tremendous finisher. But um, Alexa, what was kind of your thought process when deciding to go with Monteleon as, as your first pick for your team? I think obviously I'm like more of a quarterback of an offense. And I think she's super speedy, especially on the inside. She's got great hands and like really good IQ. And she had a great season at Harbor Fields this year. Nice. Yeah, we did. We did happen to catch you guys against Harbor Fields during the season, too. Def, definitely a good game. Good game to catch. So you have made your first selection. Now you get to make your second consecutive pick. So do you have do you have your selection of who you will be picking uh, for for second at attack on your team? Yes, I'm going to go with Kate Theofield. OK, so we got Kate Theofield out of Smithtown West, the Rutgers commit. And Kate Theofield, she's one that's definitely, definitely a pure goal scorer. She can absolutely fill it up. I mean, just covering Kate throughout the course of this season, especially, it seems like every time we've gotten a chance to watch her play, she's absolutely put on a show and just had a tremendous junior season for Smithtown West. So we got Kate Theofield off the board as well. So Theofield and Monteleone going to Team Spelina, and we got Fennell going to Team Eisfeld. And so now it goes back to Aubrey Eisfeld for her next selection. So, Aubrey, you've had some time to kind of think a little bit. So now who will you be taking next overall at attack for your team? Um, I think I'm going to be taking um, – so my next pick is going to be Erica Krusher. All right, Krusch. So – we got multiple phantoms now. The phantoms <laughs> yeah. in the field now together for the All Long Island games. We got Erica Krusher, another lefty as well. So an interesting decision there. We got Krusher, the Stony Brook commit. And of course, another teammate of yours, Aubrey, that you also play with on the club circuit. So yeah. kind of talk about your uh, your thought process there in, in uh, picking Krusher with your next pick. Um, I think she had a really great um, lacrosse season on Bayport this past season. Um, I think she's a really great finisher overall. She has really good IQ. Um, she's really good on throwing passes into the middle. Um, and we work really well together. So I'm glad to have her on my team. Love it. Love it. So we got so far. So we have three of the starting attack. So you each get one more selection. So we'll just alternate. So now it turns back to Alexa. So Alexa, you get to make one more pick just to round out your starting attack. So with your next pick to fill out that starting four for your team on attack, who is going to be your selection? Okay. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her first name, but she goes to Garden City. Um, Archangela Hafner. Oh, okay. Archie Hafner. Yes. Nice. Archie Hafner. Yes. Out of <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they call her Archie for short, but nice. So we got Hafner. Going to Team Spelina, Hafner, the Holy Cross commit, and uh, also very much alive still during the high school season as she just won another Class B County Championship and will be playing in the LICs coming up this weekend on Saturday. So we got Hafner rounding out the starting four on attack for Alexa Spelina's team. So, Aubrey, you get one more selection here to round out your four attackers in your starting lineup. So who's going to be your last selection to round out your starting four. My, my last selection is going to be Catherine Rathjen. All right. So we got Kat Rathjen, the St. Anthony's Friar. Rathjen committed to Fairfield, and she had a tremendous season for the St. Anthony's Friars, who went undefeated during the high school season and finished as the number one team in the nation. So congrats to Rathjen and the Friars, and just a big-time junior year for Kat a huge part of the St. Anthony's success. So she is going to round out the starting four on attack for Aubrey Eisfeld's team. Spelina picking her starting attack unit. So what we're going to do now as we have the starting attack selected for the All Long Island 2025 game, what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys out of the room here and we'll bring you back after we round out the starters on midi and defense as well as goalie. 
and then we'll bring you back in a little bit. But I uh, just want to thank you guys for picking your starting lineups, doing a great job, and we'll be talking to you just in a little bit after we round out the starting lineups. Thank you. Thank you. So before we kind of move on here, just want to talk about one of the cool things that we have going on this summer for the first time, and it's actually exclusive college lacrosse training powered by the LI Lax Journal. And so for this is for players that are in the high school graduating classes of 2020 to 2025, where you'll have a chance to pick up a stick this summer throughout the month of July, starting July 9th to the 31st, every Tuesday and Wednesday night, and come down to Premier Sports over in Hopog and get a chance to train and just kind of transform your game under the guidance of East Fitness LI owner Mike Kaplan, as well as St. Anthony's coaches Corey Winkoff and Christian Michaels. So it's something new, something we're trying out this summer, and it's really just a chance to kind of keep a stick in your hand and train and grow your game and kind of work with some of the games best on the island here, both training and coaching-wise. All right, so we wrapped up our starting attackers for the 2025 Girls All Long Island game. So now we're going to shift over to the midfield. And so why don't we welcome in our first midfield captain for the black team, and that's going to be Ava Mine. Ava Mine out of Bayport, committed to Maryland. And we got Ava up on the screen here. Ava, how are we doing here this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Definitely looking forward to seeing who you're going to select to play alongside you at midfield. Of course, just a little bit about your game. Just an unbelievable shooter. Definitely one of the hardest shots that I've seen on the island. Elite dodger and just an all-around <clears throat> tremendous player having a chance to cover you over the last few years. So definitely looking forward to seeing who you're going to select on your team. And uh, why don't we kind of why don't we kind of also welcome in now someone that you're familiar with playing with on the club circuit, who you'll be going up against as fellow captains for these all Long Island games. And that's going to be Reese King out of West Hampton Beach, committed to UNC. So we got Reese King up on the screen. Reese, how are we doing here this evening? I'm doing great. Super excited. How are you? Doing great. Truly looking forward to just kind of seeing your thought process into who you're going to select. And uh, just a little bit about Reese and your game. Again, definitely an unbelievable shooter like Ava. Just one of the hardest shots that I've seen on the island. But overall, just a two-way midi and can really command the draw circle. So it's definitely really going to be a treat to see you out there for the All Long Island games like it has been during the high school season. So we got both of our captains up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip a coin to decide who gets first pick or if they would like to defer and then make consecutive picks back to back. So we welcomed Ava first. So by doing that, let's switch it up and let's have Reese decide what she wants the coin to be, whether she will be picking heads or tails. So Reese, you make the call. What will it be, heads or tails? I'm going to go with heads. All right, so we're going to use my phone, and we'll have Siri flip a coin. Hey, Siri. Flip a coin. It's heads. It is heads. Yes. So, Reese, you you get to decide whether you want to make the first overall pick or if you want to defer and make consecutive picks back-to-back. -back. So it's your choice. I'm going to go with first pick. All right, so you're going to go first overall. All right, yep. so after having a chance to kind of survey the land and, and see your options, who is going to be your first pick at midfield to play alongside you in your starting lineup? I'm going to pick Molly Heine. Ooh, Molly Heine. So someone that you are familiar with, of course, on the club circuit playing together for YJ Spelina. Molly yeah. Heine out of St. Anthony's, the midfielder that's committed to Johns Hopkins. And she is coming off of just a tremendous season for the Friars, part of that team that went undefeated. They ran the table and finished as the number one ranked team in the nation. And Molly, definitely a big part of that, super instrumental and someone who really just really just does a little bit of everything, not afraid to kind of get, get down and dirty with the ground balls and um, really just Again, doing a little bit of everything, making the little plays, doing the little things to help your team win. So that is Reese's first pick for her team. And so that means now, Ava, 
you get a chance to make back-to-back picks, which of course that will then fill out your trio of starting midfielders. So we'll have you make your first pick and then we'll show everyone who your first pick is. And then we'll have you make your following pick. So who are you going to be selecting first to play with you at midfield? Um, as my first pick, I'm going to pick Jolie Schiavo. Jolie Schiavo, the JMU commit out of Smithtown West. And of course, someone also that you are familiar with on the club circuit playing for YJ Spelina and Jolie having a chance to cover her and the Smithtown West team during the high school season. Again, just someone who's super speedy. She's got unbelievable speed. Um, also just a really good finisher. Um, I think kind of underrated when it comes to just how hard of a shot that she has, but definitely, definitely cannot go wrong with that selection, picking Jolie Schiavo as your first midfielder that you'll be playing alongside with. So you once again get to make a second pick going back to back. So who is going to be your next pick that you will be playing with in your starting lineup at midfield? I'm going to go with uh, Juliana Sarasi. Oh, Sarasi, the Wontaw Warrior, another JMU commit as well. And congrats to Juliana Sarasi as her team just won the Class C Nassau County Championship today. So congrats to her and the Wontaw Warriors as they will be playing in the Long Island Championship game coming up this weekend against Sayville. But uh, Sarasi, definitely one of those players that's also a big presence on the draw circle. So Ava, what was kind of your, your thought process there with going with Sarasi to round out your starting trio of, of midfielders? Um, I've played with her for like two or three years in the Under Armour games, and I know how she plays on the field and how we can work together. So I hope she is going to be a good part to her team. I like it. Nice. So your starting midfield has been selected. So now Reese, it goes back to you to make your next selection to round out your trio of midfielders. So who is going to be your next selection to round out your starting midfield? I'm going to select Kylie Lamoureux. Kylie Lamoureux out of Rocky Point, the Maryland commit. And I'm sure that's someone that, of course, being in the same conference during the high school season and uh, getting a chance to play against Rocky Point during the season over the last few years. I'm sure you've had some tremendous battles with her. But uh, what was kind of going into your mind there in picking Lamoro to round out your starting midfield? Yeah, so like you just said, I've played so many games against her. She's great on the circle, super speedy between the 30s. Uh, I think she's a great dodger and finisher. She's super smart on offense, and she can play defense really well. Yeah, definitely another one of those two-way midfielders that really just makes an impact all over the field. And again, cannot go wrong with Kylie Lamoro to round out your starting trio of middies. So that's going to wrap up the starting lineup for the midfield. So just want to thank you guys for being part of this first portion of the draft, picking your starters. And so what we're going to do is we'll have you guys now back in the waiting room and then we'll bring you back after we round out the starting defense and the goalies. Thank you. All right. So we have our starting attack and we have our starting midfield. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift over to the defense. And so we're going to bring in our defensive captains. So first we are going to start with our captain out of Bayport Blue Point, And that would be Emma Brown. Emma Brown, the Stanford commit. Emma, what's going on? How are you doing here this evening? Hi, I'm good. I'm really excited to be here. Something very exciting. Nice, nice. So so we got you as, as a captain, of course, Emma Brown, one of the premier defenders, not just on the island, but you can say in the state of New York, in the country, just a tremendous defender can guard in multiple ways, on ball, off ball, so so versatile the ultimate clearing machine for a vaunted Bayport defense that has just been elite over the last few years. So we got Emma Brown here as one of our defensive captains. Now we want to welcome in our other defensive captain, and that would be someone that you are very familiar with, Emma, of course, playing on the club circuit with as a teammate, and that would be Julia May O'Connor. 
out of St. Anthony's. Julia, what's going on? I'm doing good. Nice. So we got Julia May, of course, out of St. Anthony's, the Q's commit. And again, talking about St. Anthony's earlier, we could talk about that team all night, really. But of course, Julia, you are just such an instrumental part of the Friars defense. And you were on a team that ran the table this season, went undefeated, finished as the number one team in the nation. So congrats to you and your success, both individually and as a team. And we're looking forward to having you two go up against each other in uh, making your selections here for, for the 2025 team, for the defenders. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a coin toss to decide who either will select first or if you want to make consecutive picks back to back. So we welcomed in Emma Brown first. So what we'll do is we'll have Julia May, we'll have you decide the coin toss, whether you want to select heads or tails. It's up to you and it's your call. And um, I'll use my phone to see what it lies. So Julia, it's your call, heads or tails. Um, I think I'm going to take heads. All right. So let's see here. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Heads. It is heads. So Julia, you get to decide whether you would like to select first or if you want to make consecutive picks back to back and defer and have Emma pick first. So it's your choice. I think I'm going to go first. Okay. All right. So you are going to go first. So with your first pick to play alongside you starting at defense, who are you going to be selecting? I'm going to take Brooke Hopkins. Brooke Hopkins out of GC, the Notre Dame commit. I like this selection. Of course, someone that you're very familiar with on the club circuit, a teammate of yours playing for YJ Spelina. So what was kind of your thought process in making Brooke as your first overall pick on defense? Um, I love playing club and like I know she's a great like athletic player and she's very versatile when she like has the ball or when she's playing on defense. Nice. So you've gotten a chance, of course, to play with her for many years on, on YJ Spelina, now getting a chance to play with her in the all Long Island games. So now, Emma, it is up to you now. You make consecutive picks. So we'll have you make your first pick first, and then we'll talk a little bit about your selection and your thought process, and then we'll have you make your second consecutive pick after that. So who's going to be first for you? Um, I think I'm going to pick Sienna Connolly. Sienna Conley, the Northwestern commit out of Southside. And Sienna Conley, she is definitely super versatile. She has really good speed. Got a chance to see her play a lot of midfield this season as well for Southside. But definitely a premier defender. Northwestern is, is getting a great one. But Emma, what was kind of the thought process for you in selecting Sienna first to play alongside you on defense? Well, I I don't think I've played against her, and I definitely haven't played with her. But from what okay. I've heard and seen is that she's a great defender and that she's, like, very versatile and is a great 1v1 defender and very fast as well and very gritty. Nice. I like that. Getting a chance to play with someone that you haven't really played with or against. I like that. Kind of picking someone new to play alongside. That's de definitely, definitely an interesting thought, and, and I, I like the thought process for sure. So now you get to once again make your second consecutive pick. So who will you be picking next to play alongside you on defense? Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Forgive me if I do, but uh, Courtney Zipolitos. Oh, Zipolitos. Okay, yeah. Out of West Islip, committed to Towson. Nice. So you got Zipolitos also playing with you as well. And Zipolitos, congratulations to her and her team success during the high school season as West Islip. They just won the Suffolk Class B County Championship. And so Zipolito, she is back in the LIC for a second consecutive year, looking to try and win the Long Island Championship for West Islip. So she'll be playing on Saturday up against Garden City. But definitely, definitely a great selection there. And I remember Zipolito, she, she was a POG in last year's All Long Island games. So definitely will have a huge part in, in your defense, Emma. So now we're going to shift it back to Julia May, and we're just going to alternate to round out the, um, the starting four defenders. So, Julia, it's back to you. So who will you be selecting next for your starting defense? Um, I'm going to take Grace Theofeld. 
Grace Theofield out of Smithtown West, the Binghamton commit. Nice, nice. So what was kind of going through your mind when deciding to pick Grace as one of your starting defenders as well? Have you had a chance to play either with her or against her? Well, I'm sure you have during during the high school season, but like just kind of what were your thoughts about selecting Grace to, to be alongside you on defense? Um, Yeah, I played with her for a few years and I've played against her like throughout like all like the games and stuff. But um, I know like she's a fast, like athletic player and like um, she's good footwork and she's going to be a good player on my team. I like it. I like it. So now, Emma, it goes back to you to round out your starting defense. So who's going to be your next selection? Uh, I think yeah, I'm going to go so Leah Riccardi. Leah Riccardi out of Northport, the Elon commit. And Riccardi, of course, a huge part of Northport's success the last few years, a team that is always in contention. And of course, they were in the county final this year, uh, came up just a bit short. But Riccardi, of course, a huge part of Northport, typically always having one of the top defenses, just not just in Suffolk County, but on the island as well. So we got Julia May making her last pick here to round out her starting defense. So, Julia, who are you going to select? Um, I'm going to take Violet Freebody. Ooh, Violet Freebody out of Rocky Point. The Slippery Rock commit and Freebody getting a chance to cover her for Rocky Point. She's another one of those players that can really just do it all, like whether it's ground balls, creating turnovers. Um, again, another one of those super versatile defenders. So, Julia, what was kind of your thought process in selecting Freebody to round out your defense? Um, I mean, I've never played like with her or against her, but I've heard of her and I know she's a good player. So that was kind of my thought process. Nice, nice. So that now rounds out the starting defense for both Emma Brown and Julia May O'Connor. So just want to first thank you guys for being a part of the starting lineup draft process and selecting your starting defenders. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift over to the goalies. And so we're going to have you guys go back into the waiting room and then we will come back to you guys once we round out the reserve attack and midfielders. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we have our starting attack, our starting midfield, and our starting defense. So now we're going to shift over to the goalies. And we'll have the goalies. It'll be a little bit different because we know our starting goalies. So what we're going to do is we will just have them make their selections of the goalies that they have to choose from to round out their team. So what we're going to do is we're first going to introduce our first goalie captain, which is Maya Soskin out of Cold Spring Harbor, committed to the University of Florida. So we got Maya up on the screen. Maya, how are you doing here this evening? I'm doing great, Alice. Excited to be here. Awesome. So just a little bit about Maya. She is still very much alive in the high school season for Cold Spring Harbor as they just won the Class D County Championship, and they will be playing for the Class D LIC coming up this weekend. And Maya, just so instrumental, just a natural leader, really a born leader, an absolute brick wall, making saves that oftentimes look difficult, making them look easy, and definitely looking to see you have some big games coming up here, Maya, for, for your high school team. But uh, why don't we also welcome in the captain that you will be going up against at goalie, another Maya, and that'll be Maya Farnan out of West Hampton Beach, committed to Penn. Maya, how's it going here this evening? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Happy to have you guys on here for the draft. So Maya Farnan, of course, the Penn commit out of West Hampton and just an unbelievable goalie that's been doing it for quite some time now for West Hampton, a team that is a perennial contender out in Suffolk Class C and just another phenomenal junior season for you, Maya. So just want to, first of all, just like tip my hat to you on another great season in the cage and um, just kind of want to just get, just get going here and just kind of talk about how we're going to be doing the selection for the goalies. So it'll be a little bit different because we know that you two are the starting goalies. So you will just be selecting of the goalies that you have to choose from for the 2025 game. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip a coin and the winner of the coin toss, they can decide 
whether they want to pick first and they'll be pull- they'll be picking one goalie and or if they can def- they want to defer if they would like and they would make consecutive selections back to back so really just kind of an interesting decision there in in what the winner of the coin toss will decide to do so we're going to let Maya Farnan make the coin toss selection whether she wants to pick heads or tails and she will then make her decision if if she wins the coin toss so Maya what's it going to be heads or tails I think I'm going to go tails. All right. So Maya Farnan picks tails. So I'll use my phone here. Hey, Siri. Coin. Go ahead. It is heads. So Maya Soskin, so you can decide if you would like to select first and you'll be selecting one goalie or if you would like to select two goalies and you can kind of, you can go back to back. It, it's up to you. Do you want to have two two goalies on your team or do you want to, have one. It's your call. Um, I think I'm going to go with uh, one goalie. Okay. So you have one goalie, so you'll be able to make that selection first. So of the goalies that you have to choose from, who are you going to select to be on your team? I am going to select McKenna Gagliardi. All right. So Gagliardi out of West Islip, committed to Penn State, and Gagliardi, she just had – a phenomenal game in the county championship for West Islip, and they advanced to the LICs. So Gagliardi is still very much alive in the high school season. And so definitely tip my hat to McKenna and wishing her good luck this weekend for West Islip. So it's going to be Saskin and Gagliardi as teammates in the cage for their all Long Island team. So now Maya Farnan, of course, we have two goalies on the board. So why don't you just kind of select who you would first like to choose? Of course, you'll be playing with both, but you can make that first selection and then we'll kind of get their graphic up here and just kind of talk about what it might be like having them as a teammate. They're both amazing goalkeepers. I played with both of them and played against both of them a ton over the past couple of years, but I'm going to go with Breezy Hankey first. Okay, so Breezy Hankey. Breezy Hankey out of Rocky Point and the UMass commit. So Breezy going to be playing with Maya Farnan and someone, of course, that I'm sure you have familiarity with, um, especially in the in the high school season, uh, being being in the same conference, West Hampton and Rocky Point. But um, just like anyone, anyone for you, Maya, where you kind of look down and, and it could be Breezy, but one of those things where it's like you look down and you see your counterpart, your opposition in goal and kind of say, like, okay, I really have to stand on my head because they have this goalie in the net for their team. Yeah, definitely. She's a great player. She's a great leader. You can hear her communicating from a mile away. She can make really impressive saves and definitely helped out her team a lot this year. Nice. So you also have one more goalie that you'll be playing with. So kind of want to just just make the selection just, just to get, get her name out there. Yeah, I'm going to pick Jess Black. Jess Black, the St. Anthony's Friar. Jess committed to Army West Point. So we got another St. Anthony's Friar that is now off the board. And Jess Black, of course, she'll be getting a chance coming up soon in, in her senior year to really be really be the anchor of that St. Anthony's defense, a team that, of course, was number one in the nation this year. They ran the table. They went undefeated. And Jess Black on that Friars team that had a historic year. So congrats to Jess. But um, just want to thank you guys for making your selections and um, being part of the All Long Island Captain's uh, draft process. So just want to thank you guys and looking forward to seeing you at the game June 19th. Okay, so as we continue with the All Long Island Games draft, what we're going to do now is we're going to be presenting the rosters for the younger age groups for the All Long Island Games. So the younger age groups incorporate the class of 2026 all the way down to the class of 2030. And so for the 2029 and 2030s, we will actually be having four teams for those age groups. 
But what we're going to do overall is just present the rosters for the black and gold teams for these age groups. And we're going to start by introducing the black team and the gold team for the class of 2026. Now presenting the rosters for the class of 2027, the rising sophomores. And many of these girls, if they haven't already been on varsity this past spring, they'll definitely be shooting to make their varsity roster next season for their high school teams. Now presenting the class of 2028, as these young ladies are taking that jump from middle school to high school, where they'll be looking to take their game to the next step, whether that's suiting up for JV or possibly looking to make varsity next spring as a freshman. Now to the 2029s where we have four teams we'll be presenting. These rising eighth graders are ready to burst onto the scene, starting with their final season of middle school summer ball as they get set to enter their final chapter of junior high school. And last but not least, we have the class of 2030, also with four teams to present, and these young guns are set to start the seventh grade in the fall, and they'll be making waves this summer, leading into what will be their first year of middle school lacks next spring, playing for their respective school teams. I think what we can do now is we can bring everyone back just to kind of wrap up the draft because uh, everyone has been selected. We got everyone coming back here. All right, so guys, just want to thank you for being part of this first ever All Long Island Games virtual draft. Um, I hope it was a cool experience for all of you. And um, we're really looking forward to seeing you guys compete in the games on June 19th. And I uh, just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, uh, Gate, East Fitness, Heatherwood, Chick-fil-A, and I'm also just thank LI Sports Network, our production partners, for putting together the stream. But I uh, just want to thank you guys again for joining us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the games on June 19th. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.